about a year ago, kind of around last February, I said to you guys that I didn't want to be a full-time YouTuber. And there were reasons for that. In my opinion, pretty damn good reasons. But here I am, sitting here, about a year later, and what am I but a full-time YouTuber? And let me tell you, I wouldn't trade that for the world. I took something that I did for fun as a hobby, something I loved doing, and turned it into my full-time job. It is literally one of the things in the world that's made me happier than anything else in my life. And I have no one else to thank for that but you guys. However, as of the last kind of month, maybe two months, there's been a plague that started happening to YouTubers, Call of Duty YouTubers, even just gaming YouTubers, that's really plaguing this community that all of us love so much. And fortunately, some people in this community have been bringing this idea up and kind of bringing it to the front and center of YouTube. And this is why I am making this video. Not because I want more money or need more money or anything like that. It's because if I don't make this video, people like me, people like some of maybe the, your favorite people that you watch will no longer be YouTubers. There will no longer be people who can create content because it's not feasible. Let me tell you, one of the biggest misconceptions when it comes to YouTube as a job is the amount of work it takes. When I meet someone for the first time and I tell them what I do for a job, there's three questions they ask me. The first thing they ask, what's your job, what do you do? I tell them that I make YouTube videos, I play video games, and somehow manage to find a way to make money doing it. The second thing they ask, what game do you play? I tell them I play Call of Duty and upload videos, generally speaking, about that game. The third thing they ask, how much money do you make? There is never anything in between there to say, oh, how much do you, how much time do you spend on that? How much do you work? Is it a busy job? They just assume that I'm a guy who sits in front of a TV eating Doritos playing video games. They don't see the part of editing videos, the work that goes in behind them, or anything in between. And it kind of sucks, but at the same time, I have a great job and I'm never going to complain about that. Now, one thing you gotta remember about YouTube, as far as this website goes, is probably most of the people you watch, they do this as a job. In other words, Jobs can be frustrating, and for a job to be rewarding and for people to like that job, it has to be equal parts frustrating as it is rewarding. Now, a job could be rewarding in two ways, monetarily and mentally. Mentally, YouTube is pretty damn rewarding. You get to be in contact with many, many people every day and get to hear them talk about the content that you make. Mentally rewarding. Monetarily rewarding is seeing the work and effort that you put into something pay off in the form of a paycheck. Fortunately for me and many other people, generally speaking, YouTube is both of those, mentally and monetarily rewarding. Problem is, recently, YouTube has not been in the slightest monetarily rewarding to the point where so soon people are going to have to start closing their channels and going away from this simply because they actually have to get a job and support their family, support themselves, support their house, and all of these things because it's just not going to be possible if what's going on with YouTube keeps up. So the original thing that set this whole thing off was that advertisers didn't like the videos that their advertisements were getting paired on, which is fair enough. If you're paying for advertisement, you want it advertised on very specific things to targeted towards your advertisers, which of course Google does have algorithms for, but obviously they were failing in a way. Google's response or YouTube's response to this was to create a restricted mode, which is a good idea. It is. If you have this problem, it's a decent idea. However, let's just quit, take a quick look to see what restricted mode does to a gaming channel or a Call of Duty channel like myself. So just to show you what exactly restricted mode does, I want to show you a couple channels before and after restricted mode. Mainly Call of Duty channels, but we'll try to hit a few different ones here or there. So we go to my channel. My channel here has all these fantastic videos, and if you're subscribed, this is exactly what you'll see. And if you scroll through it, there's a ton of different videos. I believe I have just around a thousand different videos. And if we go and turn on restricted mode, this is what happens to my channel. A channel with just under 300,000 subscribers basically goes non-existent. Literally, none of my videos are there, except for four. There's four videos on my channel. Every single one of these videos is a vlog. No Call of Duty gameplay in it, no video game gameplay in it whatsoever. Every single one of these is also a review for some sort of product. I have a couple gaming setups in there. You got the Ultimate Holiday Gift Guide and the Scuff 4PS Unboxing and Review. Interestingly enough, 
no gameplay on any of these, which kind of makes sense when you really think about it, because the way that they're doing this is they see the Call of Duty gameplay in there, the game that's rated M for Mature, even though most Call of Duty games have very little gore in them, but rated M for Mature nonetheless, and they say, well, we have to restrict these, people, kids specifically, cannot see these, and because of this, my channel basically goes non-existence for any viewers in restricted mode. So let, let's check out a couple of other channels. So another Call of Duty YouTuber, a very large Call of Duty YouTuber, Drifter, uh, makes pretty much every sort of gaming video, whether it's a first-person shooter like Overwatch or whether it be Call of Duty. This is what his channel looks like normally if you have restricted mode off. As soon as we turn restricted mode on, once again, pretty much non-existent. So another Call of Duty YouTuber, Prestigious Key, this is one of the guys who's actually come out and talked about this issue. If we go and check out his channel, once again, tons and tons and tons of videos, and when you turn restricted mode on, the channel practically becomes non-existent. And in fact, the two videos that you can view are two videos where one, he has no gameplay, which he just made, and another one, which he made as a parody um, of a vlog, it's literally a first-person vlog, um, which again, no gameplay whatsoever. So just as a proof that this specific issue isn't just an issue for Call of Duty channels, I just wanted to show you uh, another gaming channel. So this is the Rad Brad. He does Let's Plays of pretty much every game you can think of. And once again, you see his channel with a ton of different Let's Plays. He has thousands and thousands of videos. If we go and turn on restricted mode for him, not only is does it go from having thousands of videos, his goes to having zero videos on his channel because pretty much every one of his videos has some form of gameplay in it. So to understand the next part of this, you have to understand basically how YouTubers get paid. So YouTubers get paid off of the ads that go on their videos. Those are generally speaking paid out in CPM. And basically what a CPM is, is it's the cost per thousand views. Generally speaking, most YouTubers get paid in a one to two dollar CPM. So for every thousand views, they get paid about one to two dollars. This is generalized and it's not going to be the same for every video, every YouTuber, but generally speaking that's what you can expect i've seen my specific videos anywhere from one to six and sometimes upwards of eight on very specific videos at very specific times for very specific countries it's kind of all over the place but if you want a general rule of thumb one to two dollars per cpm so another thing with cpms is they change based on time of year for example in december when advertisers really want to get their products out there for christmas ads are going to be a lot higher. So people in December on YouTube, generally speaking, get paid a lot more. Also, for some reason, around May, June, July, CPMs are also higher during that time. So at this time last year, my CPMs ranged from about 2 to $3 per video, generally speaking around there. This year, pretty much every single one of my videos has been at $1. One, $1 CPM, which isn't horrible, like I'm not complaining about that. So the thing you gotta remember here is as a YouTuber, there's a couple of times of year where you're really going to flourish. And this time of year right now is one of those times, especially because for a Call of Duty YouTuber, the times you're gonna do well is whenever something new is released. So for us, in this case scenario, it's Call of Duty World War II. Generally, that's just a time of year that's pretty good when the new Call of Duty is announced. And as of this year, it's gotten much much worse, not just because of the time of year and the whole ad revenue discrepancy that's going on, but also because of the title of the next Call of Duty game. So a great example of this is called, for me, Call of Duty World War II Gameplay Trailer, Nazi Zombies, and Multiplayer. This video I put out the day of the Call of Duty World War II reveal, and this video, as of this moment right now, has about 60,000 views. So normally, what we talked about before, a 60,000 view video is going to get you approximately $60 at a $1 CPM, assuming that that's what I'm getting. If we go and look at my estimated revenue for a 60,000 view video, I'm going to make approximately $4.61 off of this video. That is atrocious, and this is not not even close to my only video that looks like this. So just as a frame of reference, how we were talking about a $1 CPM, this is now a $0.07 cent CPM. That is, you, you can't live off of that. A YouTuber who supports a family or owns a house or even owns a car on that cannot support themselves on that. And it's really sad to see. And Prestigious Key recently tweeted something to really show off 
really what's going on behind the scenes here. So basically he showed a Call of Duty World War II video that has over 100,000 views and he approximately made $10 off of it versus another video that's a two minute first person vlog of him going to buy milk. He was trying to make the most advertiser friendly video possible, which has 33,000 views and guess what? He made $40 off of it. So literally four times more off of a third of the views. Riddle me that. And there's been other YouTubers complaining about this as well, many, many more, and I'm glad that they are. I'm really glad that they are. And this just goes to show how you really have to be careful with how you make your money. You never know when what the way you're making your money is just going to end completely, especially when it's not dependent on you, right? Like, the way I make my money is dependent on a whole other website. And specifically, this is affecting Call of Duty YouTubers because of the whole World War II Call of Duty game. For some reason, when we put Nazi zombies in the top, title, even if you say it in the video, if you talk about a specific World War II weapon, a location of a World War II battle, if you say anything like that in a video, it's going to get flagged and all of a sudden that CPM is going to drop down to 7 cents per thousand views. And of course that that's a problem. Of course, we're not going to be making videos showing you what exactly happened during World War II in those gas chambers, we're making a video about a video game, something people love to see. And hopefully, hopefully a video like this can get across to the people at YouTube, to you guys, to show you how this is causing problems for your favorite YouTubers. I hope I explained it well. I'm, I, I'm hoping I did. But how is this going to affect me? Hopefully it doesn't. I mean, if it keeps going on like this for a very long time, then yeah, I'm gonna have to go get another job. But... Like I said, I've saved my money. I'm not too worried. I think after a short while, this is going to kind of go away. YouTube's going to figure it all out, get it under control. Um, but even if it doesn't, I'm going to stick to this. This is something, like I said, I'm not doing for a full-time job. I'm doing it because I enjoy it. Uh, but if you want to check out all my stuff, this is my main channel, obviously. This is where I make Call of Duty content. Um, I have a second channel. I'll link it down. In the, it's always down in the description. But I was doing Let's Plays over there. I might switch over to vlogs. I'm not 100% sure. Um, you can let me know what you think either down in the comments or over there. Also, I'm streaming like every single night over on Twitch. Uh, it's something I did last summer. I want to do it this summer too. My Twitch link is also down in the description. And like I said... I'm always here. I'm always on this channel, and I'm really curious what you guys have to say about this. Are you pissed off about it? Like, I'm sure you don't want your creators that you like watching going away, so let me know what you think about this. Is this something you're concerned about? Are you a fellow creator who's also worried about this? Let me know what you think down in the comments, and if you enjoyed the video, it's always appreciated if you hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and until next time peace out. And for those of you wondering why it looked like I was shedding the whole time on my shirt, it's because of this adorable little kitty. <laughs> we are, we are reaching for the stars, but we're making this too hard.